this one, it's a kind of an application of a formula question. Let me kind of write it out. Uh, you know, it says, remember that gravitational force is inversely proportional to square of distance. Uh, let me illustrate this with, by just writing down the expression for the Newton's law of, law of universal gravitation that you have seen. Um, the Newton's law of gra universal gravitation says that the gravitational force is equal to the constant times the mass of uh, one of the object, mass of the other object, divided by the distance squared. And what you have to kind of read through and understand here is that when the question gives how much um, the size of the planet changes, it's uh, telling you how this number down here is changing. So it's just telling me that this distance are here increased by a factor of five. Um, so, you know, hint, hint gives you that on the surface of the planet, the distance that matters is the distance to the center of the planet or the radius of the planet. Um, so here my goal is to keep the gravitational force the same as it used to be. And here, the mass of the as uh, mass of the person, that won't be changing, that will remain the same. So, if uh, I'm recognizing that the radius here, it increased by a factor of two, which means, oh, not factor of two, increased by a factor of five for the number I have. By the way, the number is so uh, randomized, it'll change for every person. Then this r squared is going to increase by by a factor of five squared. And my goal is to keep this entire expression the same. Um, this doesn't change, this doesn't change. The only thing that will be changing is the mass of the planet. So I'm thinking through, okay, how should that mass change so that this entire combination doesn't change? If the denominator increased by a factor of 25, then the numerator also has to increase by a factor of 25. So the mass of the planet here should be 25 times that of the Earth. And you know, once you, I think, go through this thinking process, then uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, wait, how am I? I can't tell where it's aligned, Never mind. <laughs> um, I, um, once you kind of go through the thinking process, then I think it's relatively clear. It's not uh, looking at some complicated piece of information or you, know, you don't have to juggle complicated expressions. But you know, it is a number question and you do kind of need to think it through and spend some time understanding the question and the setup.